Next piece I'm gonna go over is the uh, N30i and the P30i. As far as the fitting goes, um, the N30i uh, is just gonna sit, the, the way it sizes again is, is width of the nose and then length of the nose. Your home care provider should have a template in every one of these masks that they can measure you on. Again, a lot of times you can eyeball it. I'm a huge fan of eyeballing it and then double checking it with the manufacturer's templates because that way you get a good fit. But with this particular mask, it's a very, very simple mask. You've got two adjustments on the side, but what I tell people, it sounds terrible, but it's like a horse harness. Put it under your nose, pull it up and over, and down and around. Make sure this is, your nose is right in the middle here. And then adjust on the sides, the Velcro. You don't want it too tight, but you want it tight enough to where it's gonna stay in place when you're sleeping and it's not gonna move side to side too much. Um, for women that have long hair or very, uh, very thin hair and it tends to slide, a lot of times um, I recommend pulling your hair up. It doesn't have to be in a ponytail, but you can put your hair over and put the, make sure it's down on your scalp. Otherwise this will slide up and of course it will drop off in, in the middle of the night. Um, to get in and out of the mask, if you wanna to talk to somebody, if you wanna use the restroom, but you don't wanna take your, your interface off, if you squeeze up here on the top, on each white button, it's gonna pop out. You can actually leave that in the tube um, and, and put it back on when you're ready to, uh, to go back to sleep or you're ready to, to go to sleep. Um, you will have a couple of exhalation ports here. There's one here. You won't feel the air coming out of this one very much because there's a diffuser in it. But up top, you'll also feel a little bit of air coming out. There should be air coming out there. Those is where, that's where your CO2 is being vented off out of the system. Because you do, this is basically one big tube, so you want to vent it off on the top and the bottom. Now, taking it off is pretty simple. You can just kind of grab it and pull it up and off. Um, if you grab and pull, this will pop out. This you want to get as, as close to daily as you can. Um, you can use CPAP wipes on there or uh, baby wipes, but you want to get most of the oils off there. If it's kind of an oily film on there, it won't seal up like it should. You can see how kind of flimsy that, that membrane is. It's designed to blow out and grip your nose when it does have uh, air in it or pressure in it. Now this little vent will come out. Um, you can wash that separately. You can wash this, this frame out. Um, and again, I would do, you know, at least daily, either take it in the shower with you or a, a quick wipe down and then, and then wash it once a week. And then that diffuser will pop back in place there. Um, I have had, be careful. I've had some patients, uh, I've called them up in follow-up and they've had a big leak in their system due to the fact that that has popped out or it's not all the way in, in there. So keep an eye out on that. As far as cleaning goes, I, I'm a big fan of letting the, the water pressure work for me. So usually when I clean this particular mask, and we'll do a section on cleaning, but uh, I put a squeeze of dish soap down there, put the faucet in there, let the water pressure push the soap through it until it runs clear, and then just hang it up to dry. As I mentioned before, you can hook this up to your CPAP machine, hit start on the machine, let the water pressure push the any excess water out of there if you'd like, if it doesn't air dry. And then also hand wash the, the headgear and get all the oils off there uh, once a week. And so again, cleaning once a week on your, on your frame here and as close to daily as you can on your, uh, your cushion. Now, a lot of people will call uh, this a, a, a nasal pillow. These are actually nasal pillows that are, that are uh, a, almost look like nose plugs. This is the wrong size for me, but it's, it's my demo. So I'm gonna kind of show you how these go in. These will fit in place of the N30i cushion. Um, I do like these pillows in, a certain, uh, in certain situations. So patients that sleep on their side a lot, if the N30i is moving side to side too much, pillows are great because they give you a little bit of an anchor 
They just sit in your nose like that. You wanna make sure to bring them forward a little bit so they cover your full nostrils. You'll notice these are a little small on me because they're not taking up my full nair there. Um, but you'll notice as you go side to side, those, those pillows move with you a little bit more. So if you're having uh, leaks when you're laying on your side, these are a great way to, to get around that.